Hey there guys and welcome back to the channel. We have a massive massive story here. So we're going to be talking about Coyote vs Acme, one of the biggest disappointments in the movie industry in the last few years. This movie was going to come out Coyote vs Acme, it was going to have John Cena in there, Coyote and Roadrunner and all this kind of craziness and the movie ended up getting shelved and it was going to be a tax write-off. But not so fast, it looks like the plot is thickening and we have more to the story which we're going to jump into here. This movie may still see the light of day, so it's not the end of the story just yet guys. But let's jump into this article here from Comet Flick News and let's find out what's going on with Coyote vs Acme. So, latest developments suggest Coyote vs Acme may still hit screens despite cancellation rumours. Yeah, there was a lot of fans that were very, very disappointed that this movie got cancelled. A lot of people were coming out and saying that this movie was absolutely incredible, that the test screenings were amazing, and the fact that it got shelved, you know, so many people on Twitter were causing a massive storm. There was hashtag, you know, save Coyote vs Acme all over the place, and uh, we thought that it was officially cancelled. But it looks like it may not be cancelled, so let's check it out. Recent developments surrounding Coyote vs Acme have brought a glimmer of hope amidst cancellation rumours. Originally shelved in November 2023, the Looney Tunes flick ga uh, gained renewed attention when other studios expressed interest, prompting Warner Brothers to shop it around. However, offers reportedly fell short, leading to its apparent demise once again. Yeah, so Warner Brothers didn't want the movie, so they tried shopping it around to other studios. It looked like no other studios wanted to offer the amount of money that Warner Brothers wanted for the movie. So, you know, the movie kind of just fell into a kind of a limbo, if you like, and we haven't really heard much more about it. But we have a bit of an update as to where the uh, story goes on this movie. But hold on, the plot thickens. So here we go, guys. The plot thickens. There is a glimmer of hope here. According to a recent report by the New York Times, the cancellation might not be set in stone. That's fantastic to hear. So it's not the end of, you know, it's not the end of the line yet. No need to panic. Uh, a Warner Brothers spokesperson dismissed claims of a hefty tax savings. From scrapping the film, stating that the final decision hasn't been reached, um, could this mean that Coyote vs Acme still has a shot at hitting the big screen? Stay tuned for more updates. So, an official spokesperson for Warner Brothers has come out and said that the movie, um, you know, is not being scrapped due to uh, tax, due to tax savings and stuff like this. So, and the final decision hasn't been reached yet on the movie. So, it looks like you know the movie is still there. And Warner Brothers are maybe still deciding finally what to do with the movie. I mean, they've already spent all the money to make the movie. Why not just release it and get some of that money back? And uh, with all the kind of attention that it garnered on Twitter, like I've already said, um, it's, there's a potential for this movie to go on and be profitable. But at the end of the day, it's Warner Brothers movie. What are they going to ultimately decide to do with it? I really hope they do decide to release it because apparently this movie was incredible. And uh, a lot of people are very, very disappointed. But I mean, look at this. Look how fun this looks, man. I grew up, I grew up in the 90s, like watching old clips of Roadrunner and Coyote. And just watching Coyote using the Acme devices to try and capture the Roadrunner. It's just the ultimate classic cartoon, man. Everybody knows this cartoon. And it's so, so funny. No matter how many times the Coyote tries, the Acme products always fail. They always backfire. And part of this movie, Coyote was taking Acme to court to sue them. And uh, John Cena was in there as well. And uh, yeah, it just sounds like a lot of fun. And it's just such a shame. So since his initial shelving in, uh, in November, the, the uh, destiny of Coyote vs Acme has been tumultuous ride of uncertainty. However, a recent update echoes sentiments expressed by writer Sammy Birch during the Oscars, hinting that discussions regarding the film's future are ongoing. So while Warner Brothers has yet to secure a buyer for the movie, this latest affirmation offers a glimmer of hope that the project may indeed see the light of day. So, if there's anybody around that has $70 million spare, you know, just floating around in a bank account, and you wanna buy a movie, you can buy this movie for $70 million. So, I'm just saying, if there's any millionaires out there that have got some spare money, just uh, grab $70 million and uh, you can buy this movie and save it for all of us. That would be really appreciative. A lot of fans would be happy about that. <laughs> so, um. Past reports a uh, painted picture of Warner Brothers seeking a sale price exceeding its $70 million budget, attempting to offload it to streaming giants like Netflix and Amazon with strict terms. These efforts ultimately led to another shelving. While the latest update suggests a potential path to audience screens, the film's destiny remains in limbo until Warner Brothers reaches a definitive decision. The possibility of uh, acquisition by another studio lingers, 
contingent upon Warner Brothers terms. Yeah, so we don't actually know what the terms and conditions are of the sale as well. So people could have, you know, studios may have, you know, had no problem with the actual payment of paying for the movie, but maybe Warner Brothers have got these really strict terms and conditions when it comes to the movie as to, you know, how long they get to show the movie, where they can show the movie, how they can distribute it. We don't actually know what the reason for studios turning down this movie is, whether it's the price tag, whether it's the terms and conditions, but um, either way, let's hope, fingers crossed, that a studio does come across it that does want it. I think it would be great on Amazon or Apple TV or something like that. They've got all the money in the world. So them spending 70 million to buy this movie is basically nothing to a lot of these studios. You know, Amazon and Apple, they're like a trillion dollar company. So, uh, you know, 70 million dollars isn't that much to these kind of guys. But um, we'll have to wait and see. So Public Outcry adds another layer to the saga of Coyote vs Acme with online reactions overwhelmingly critical of Warner Brothers' decision to pull the plug on the film. This outcry underscores a significant audience desire to see the movie. Whether through streaming services or traditional theatre release, ultimately public sentiment could play a pivotal role in determining the film's destiny, serving as a gauge of interest in its release. Yeah, I mean, this isn't the first time that this has happened. In recent years, there's been, you know, fan public outcry about the design of Sonic in the first Sonic movie. The studio caught on to all the public attention that that got. They went back and redesigned the Sonic, although I think that may have just been a marketing stunt, but I can't prove that. And uh, the same happened with the Snyder Cut. There was enough fan outcry, backlash, and kind of online noise, and uh, we managed to get the Snyder Cut made. And uh, if there's enough kind of outcry and online discourse and comments and attention put on this Acme, uh, Coyote Acme movie, we could ultimately change the studio's decision to put this movie out if they see that there's enough attention around this movie. So if we keep plugging away, keep talking about this movie, keep bringing it up, you know, online, then studios may ultimately release it um, if they see that there's enough attention there. But we'll have to wait and see. So with Coyote vs Acme still lingering in the realm of possibility, Buoyed, uh, buoyed by recent developments, there remains hope that audiences will one day witness its debut. So, yeah, it was just a very small update here, but an official, um, you know, according to a recent report by New York Times, um, Warner Brothers spokesperson dismissed claims of a hefty tax savings from scrapping the film. So the film is just kind of floating around in limbo. It's on a shelf somewhere, you know, it's in a shelf somewhere in an executive's office over at Warner Brothers. And uh, they're just kind of figuring out what to do with it. Because if no studio wants to buy it, are Warner Brothers just going to go ahead and put the movie out and try to recoup as much money as possible? That's what ultimately makes sense to me. But um, so it looks like it hasn't officially been cancelled, which is great to hear. But guys, this is just a short video talking about Coyote vs Acme. Let me know what you think about it. Are you still interested in seeing this movie? And uh, do you hope that it sees the light of day? Let me know what you think about this and uh, jump into the comment section. Can't wait to see what you have to say. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one.